Hey guys, today's word of the day is myelin. If you do any sort of physical activity, especially martial arts, look it up on Google, do your own research. So what's myelin? It's the scientific explanation for the old phrase, practice makes perfect. And it also explains something my Sifu has been saying for years. It's not practice makes perfect, it's perfect practice makes perfect. Let's keep it simple. Myelin is something in your nerve cells that grows the more you practice. I'm sure you've heard the term muscle memory before. The more you practice something, the more myelin grows, and the less time it takes your brain to tell your body to commit to that action. In Kaju, we talk about practicing by talking about our colors. The Kaju Kembo colors are white, black, and red, and each one represents a stage of learning. White represents spontaneity and purity. Uh, as a white belt or as a beginner level student, if someone tells you to throw a punch or move your head, there's not much thought. You just do it. For example, someone with no training might slip a punch, but they'll do it with one eye closed, mouth open, and jazz hands. Black represents the primitive level of learning. Uh, you study, you learn proper technique, and you start to progress. You start to develop the myelin. Finally, you can do the technique properly, but it still feels raw or strange or different. The myelin hasn't developed enough. Imagine trying really hard not to flinch. You can do it, but your instincts are screaming at you to move. Slipping a punch can feel weird too. In some lines of thought, you slip and move forward, which goes against our natural instincts. This all means that by black belt, the technique and the raw concepts of the art are there, and now you have to polish them. The red level is the mechanical level. All the knowledge of the technique is there, and it's correct. And after years of training, it's also polished. You've developed a lot of myelin. The one problem, you still have to think before you throw the technique. And this brings us back to the first color, white. Once the technique is correct and clean, you work to make it spontaneous and natural. Done without thinking. At this level, techniques have been compared to a shadow moving with its source. No hesitation, moving as one with the body. So the Kaji Kembo colors. As a beginner student, your goal is to reach the black level with all your techniques and then continue practicing them. At a black belt, your goal is to reach the red or mechanical level. Depending on how often you see your teacher, you may never get a red belt, but you still reach for that mechanical red level. And then you reach to make those motions natural, like a white belt. If you do your research on practice, there's a lot of information on the internet that can help you. Uh, for example, spaced repetition. Doing a technique a thousand times in one hour is great on many levels, but it's not as good for learning as doing it intermittently. Conscious thought is important in your practice. Also, visualization mixed with practice has been found in research to improve skill. Keep an image in your head of the perfect punch. Then, run it through your head anytime you're at the stoplight, you're waiting in line, you're walking. Then, when you practice, work to make that punch real. If you want to improve, research the psychology and the physiology of practice. That's part of your training too. Practice correctly and practice a lot. Perfect practice makes perfect. And don't stop practicing. I'm gonna leave you with a quote you might have seen on the internet from a cello player named Pablo Casals. At the age of 81, Casals was thought to be the world's foremost cello player. And again, at the age of 81, he was asked, why do you continue to practice four to five hours every day? And Casal said, because I think I'm making progress. That's all for today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Click like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on this, uh, your thoughts on practice, and if you want to see more videos like this. Have a good day, and hope to see you guys again soon.